Okay, this is Dr. B, and let's balance question number 27 using the half reaction method. I did this for my class, and we made an error somewhere, so I thought we would repeat it. Let us begin by recognizing that chlor chlorine, Cl2, is being both reduced and oxidized. It's turning into chloride. I hope you see that calcium chloride is no longer chlorine atoms, but each Cl has a negative charge. And it is forming two of them. So that is what's gaining electrons. I guess that's our reduction. And uh, it's also turning into chlorite. That's ClO3 minus. Now that might look like and it's forming two of those. So that looks good. That might look like you're doing reductions on both sides, but not for chlorine. Chlorine, I'll bet, is being oxidized there. But let's proceed in the normal fashion that we do. Let's make sure our chlorines are balanced. We've got two and two, two and two, that looks fine. So the next thing that's not balanced is oxygen. We've got three here, so I'm gonna add three water molecules. And then if I'm adding that, I better add 6H+. Plus. And that looks good. Let me pause for a second. And in fact, that's not good. And I believe a student pointed that out to me. Does anybody see the error that I just made? I said I have three oxygens here, so I need three waters. I don't. I have six oxygens there because there's two of those. That, I think, is the initial problem. So I am going to clean that up. Let's get rid of this whole thing here. Ugh, give me a second. Good. Now, let's do it again. Chlorine is turning into chlorite. Two of them. Each one with a minus one charge. Okay. Now, let's see, we're good for chlorine. We've got six oxygens, not three. So let's add six H2Os to this side. And then let's add 12 H plus to that side. Double check, 12 hydrogens, 12 hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines, six oxygens, six oxygens. Everything's good except for charge. Let's do that on the top. I am two minus here, so let's make it two minus on the other side as well. Here I have no charge on the left, and I have a two minus and 12 plus. I am 10 plus here. Let's double check, because that's pretty unusual. Two minus, 12 plus, 10 plus. So I need to add 10 electrons here, 10 E minus. That means I need to multiply this entire thing by five in order to balance out the electrons. I'm going to bravely do all that, and I believe it's time to do one more thing. Should I do it now? I think I'll wait till I add it up. I'm remembering that I need to, since I'm in basic solution, and I know that right there, I know I'm going to have to account for that in a minute, but why don't I just go ahead and add them up right now? My electrons have canceled. I have five Cl2s plus six H2Os. I'm doing reactancy. Uh, and five Cl2s plus six H2Os plus another Cl2, turning into not two Cl minus, because remember I'm multiplying it by five. So I have 10 Cl minus, 10 chloride ions plus two chlorite ions plus my 12H plus, plus that's it. Now, since it's in basic solution, to account for that for each H plus, we add the same number of OH minus to both sides. I'm going to point out that that makes 12 waters. Clean that up. And I'm also going to notice that I have six waters on the left and 12 on the right. So I'm going to cancel that, and I have a surplus of six H2O 
all together. So that's all cleaned up. I'm trying to not have to write it over and over again. And I think I'm ready to add this all up. And you know what I think I might even do is I'm going to turn my net ionic equation directly into a regular equation. In other words, when I see hydroxide, I'm not going to write OH minus here. I'm going to write calcium hydroxide. So I see five Cl2s plus 12 OH minus, but they get paired up in calcium hydroxide. So I'm going to write six calcium hydroxide. See how that's 12 hydroxides? in its original form. And how many chlorines? Oh, another one. There it is. Uh, so I'm going to change that, yuck, to a six. And I've got everything, right? So I'll get rid of that. And now what are we making? 10 chlorides, right? 10 chlorides. There's no anywhere else. So they get paired up in calcium chloride. So I'm going to write five calcium chloride plus what else um chlorite how many of them two but they're paired up in calcium chlorides so chlorite so that's just one of those plus calcium chlorite and my six waters is that correct six h2o I believe it's time to check. Now, no, notice I got to be careful. Let's double check. Six chlorines, yes. Six calcium hydroxides, makes sense. Missing anything? No. Ten chlorides, so that's five calcium chlorides, good. Two chlorides, so that's one calcium chloride, good. Six waters, good. Okay, this is should be six to, this is six, six, five, one, six, right? Six, six, five, one, six. I'm going to write that down. But it's a little bit out of order. Well, it doesn't matter, I think, because calcium, yeah, this is the same thing. Calcium chloride, chloride, 66516 with an exclamation point. Let's see if it's right. Uh, do chlorine first. We have 12 on the left and 10 plus 2. Yep, looking good. 12 and 12. We have calcium is six is it six on the right well we've got five plus one interesting how it breaks down six and six i'm liking it oxygen i have 12 and six plus six is 12. i think we got it but let's just do it completely and the only thing left i think is the hydrogen is that right yeah, let's do the hydrogen, which is also paired up here. So 12 plus 12. That gets a big happy face. And it's now balanced. So that is the balanced chemical reaction for the reaction of calcium hydroxide with chlorine.